He just announced a collaboration with the Department of Energy. They will be building seven new supercomputers here in the United States to advance the nation's uh, technology, specifically in the sciences and, and physics, et cetera. And this is something that we also heard from AMD earlier in the week. So really a lot of countries around the globe, especially the U.S., are trying to advance the technology with supercomputers, which is a lot more complex than just the, your average GPU and AI system. The other bit of news, too, is that um, Jensen Wong was on stage talking about an open uh, system called NV. Q-Link, which would join forces with 17 quantum companies, uh, and this is about sharing data. So that one's a little bit more vague, just because he just finished talking about it. And then, last but not least, uh, Nvidia and Nokia. So we know that Nvidia is investing one billion dollars in Nokia. This will be a part of a the Aerial Ran um, offering, and he says that the market could hit 200 billion by 2030. The investment in Nokia caused the stock to pop. AT&T, Verizon, less so, but essentially think of it like AI services coming onto the edge because it involves 6G and if we're doing all of these chat GPT queries or deep research you need to have the infrastructure in place in the United States to uh, handle that compute and so that's where Nokia would come into play. The 5G and 6G software would run on NVIDIA chips so that is why you're seeing such a reaction in the stock guys.